Hello everyone and welcome to Wendy's Way. This is going to be kind of a hodgepodge video. It's going to be a bonus, a little more than my normal weekly recordings. When I went to the mailbox, actually when Bubba went to the mailbox today, he brought back in something that I am so excited about. It is my first order from the Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company. All those channels that you see down below that I am subscribed to that are uh, homesteaders. Oh, the people that I envy because they can have animals and I'm in town. Anyway, I'm a gardening fool now and they've all turned me on to the Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company. They're located in Missouri and it might be some place that I am going to visit in the near future. I'm not quite sure. Anyhow, I wanted to do a, a sort of unboxing video for my very first order from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. Uh, last year, I went with seeds and plants that I found at the store. I didn't, I didn't know about Baker Creek and I was just so excited to be gardening. We planted a whole bunch of things that we didn't really use. I had way too many hot peppers, way too many bell peppers. My tomatoes were not terribly productive. Uh, the ground cherries, well, ground cherries are ground cherries. You can never get enough. Anyhow, this is the Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company catalog that came out this year. It's the 22nd annual, I believe it says. And... You can go online if you're looking for this. Rareseeds.com is their website. And I will put a link to that in the description of this video. This year I decided I was only going to order what I was going to use. Things that we really love. Um, and I'm also going to do... Well, I'll tell you all about it. Another thing I just wanted to show you real quick. I'm sure a lot of people would think I'm way too OCD, and then I am, but I had to make myself a cool book. Scope this out. It's Wendy's Way Garden Book. I keep my catalog in here. I keep, you know, the receipt for my seed order. I have uh, some seeds that I saved and some seeds that I had purchased in the past. Anyhow, my cool book. It's got a... Uh, what do you call it? A graph notebook so that I can lay out my garden. Okay, here we go. I ripped it open. I'm too excited. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy store. I am ready. I am so ready. Okay. Number one, I shared this the other day when Baker Creek posted it. We are looking at a lemon spice jalapeno. Oh, oh, oh. Is that incredible or what? I do apologize for the shaking. I have taken in far too much caffeine today and not nearly enough food to offset it. So on everything, you have planting instructions. You have all, oh, just all kinds of things. When it was packed and, mm-hmm. Anyway, lemon spice jalapenos. Next. Whew. Dad's Sunset Tomatoes. Aren't they gorgeous? They're like a yellow-orange amber color. Oh, they look so meaty. They sound so awesome. Ozark Giant Bell Peppers. Probably the only bell pepper I'm going to plant this year. We just don't need that much. You know, I chop them up and put them in the freezer. And uh, I use them for soups and stews and chilies and stir fries and things like that. But you only need about so many. Ooh, this one is one of the first herbs that I'm going to grow. And I'm going to make my own teas. And maybe eventually salves and tinctures and all kinds of things that I'm learning from an herbalist on YouTube. She is of the woods. I'll try to remember to put a link for her YouTube page down below, too. This is Herb B. Balm Lemon. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited. Okay, next. 
<laughs> it is the Improved Maestro P. I was looking for something that gave a really large yield and, you know, big peas, a lot of them in a pod, something real basic. There we go. <laughs> this one's going to be fun too. These are birdhouse gourds. I know it takes a couple years. You know, we'll grow them this year, we'll harvest them in the fall, and then we will hang them up in the basement to dry. And next year, we'll be able to clean them, clean them out, and hopefully we will make a Purple Martin birdhouse out in the big yard by the garden. You know, we'll put 15 or 20 of them out there because Purple Martins eat a lot of mosquitoes. Okay, next. Ooh, this is golden lemon balm. Another one that I'm going to use for tea and tinctures. And, um, you know, you can dry it and use it as an herb. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, well, this one isn't exactly a bell. This is poblano pepper. My favorite pepper. It's not hot and it's not real sweet. It just has a lot of flavor and not too much moisture. Oh, it's a delicious pepper. Um, I eat, get it a lot in Mexican dishes. Oh, so good. Chili, I don't know, here we come. These are beans. They are called Landreth Stringless. And if I remember right, they're a pole bean. I have a bunch of panels that I'm getting from Dad. And we're going to stand them up with T-posts so that everything can climb because, you know me, I don't want to bend over. I'm having surgery on my foot into this month and I really am not going to want to bend over. Ground cherries. I love ground cherries. Last year I bought plants. This year I'm starting everything from seed. These are a purple potted pole bean. Scope that out. I am ready. I'm going to can beans. I'm going to freeze beans. We're going to have lots of good stuff. Another herb. Okay. Whorehound. Have you ever thought of growing your own whorehound? I'm going to grow this and I'm going to make my own like cough drops and cough syrup and candy. Because I love whorehound candy. It's not too sweet. It's kind of bitter. It's kind of savory. It's just delicious. Classic beefsteak tomato. Can't get enough of them. We're going to can tomatoes. We're going to stew tomatoes. We're going to make uh, lots of tomato juice. Lots of yummies. Ooh, wow. Okay. This was one of the free gifts. Ha! <laughs> it is... I'm guessing it's a bunch of gourd seeds or melon seeds as you see on the front. Ha ha ha. Sweet. Nice advertisement. And it's free. <laughs> Another thank you. A free pack of watermelon seeds. How cool is that? Another one. Let's see. Well, we'll figure it out. It looks like some sort of herb. Anyway, four packs of free seeds they send. When you place an order, I think, an order over $49, something like that. Here's something that I'm going to try. I don't know anyone in my area who's ever grown lima beans. And I love lima beans. They're so good. Hot with butter and a little bit of salt. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I sound like a dork, but I'm so ready. Another classic beefsteak. I did order two packs of those. Oregano. Wild Xanthar Oregano. Gonna put it through the dehydrator. Like I did a bunch of basil last year that I got from a friend at church. And you just dehydrate it until it's completely dried. And then you crumble it. And you put it in a mason jar. And I got these lids for a small mouth mason jar 
that have a shaker top on them. I use it when I buy Parmesan cheese in bulk and stuff like that. I'll show them to you in another video because I forgot to bring them here. Oh yes, loofah. I'm gonna grow loofah gourds. I'm gonna make dishcloths and bath sponges and house scrubbers and yeah, all that kind of good stuff. You can learn how with me. Bonnie Best. It doesn't get any more typical, historical. Bonnie Best and Beefsteak are the tomatoes that I ordered. Oop, I must order two packs of Dad's Sunset. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm hoping since it's orange or yellow that it'll be a little more mild on the citric acid. Because like my dad, I have a little bit of trench tongue and it burns. Golden butter wax beans. Oh my, my, my. Aww. How cool is that? A thank you card for placing my first order with more information on the back and a signature. And more Bonnie Best tomatoes. Basically, you know, I stuck with the beans, the peas, the tomatoes, the ground cherries, and the herbs. Because those are things I know we'll eat. And then, the, what's the word? Piece de resistance. I got Clyde's Garden Planner. I am so excited to learn how to use this. I have been told that it is the handiest tool you will ever use in your garden, no matter where you live. It, <laughs> like I say, I have to figure out how to use it. But basically, you just, you look at where you are and what you're planting. And there are, yes, of course, there are instructions on how to use it, which is good because I'm kind of clever. Some days I wonder about myself. And then there are all these, you know, fruits and vegetables. And it'll tell you, like, when to plant when to harvest. Oh, this was only four bucks. And, you know, there's a whole lot of thought and experience and knowledge went into creating this amazing tool. Okay. I'm excited. I did it. It is Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. You gotta get the catalog. If you're a gardener, oh, you gotta get the catalog. I want to tell y'all that I appreciate you spending time with me. I hope that if you find any joy or inspiration or comedy in these videos, because I'm kind of a dork, that maybe you will subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification button. You know, it doesn't cost you a dime. But if you hit like on my videos and you subscribe, then you enable me to be found by other YouTubers. And, you know, as more and more people find my channel and watch it every now and then, that gives me the ability then to promote more of the businesses that I'm affiliated with. And, you know, in an attempt to earn a little bit to sustain myself here at home. I need to stay home and not work outside of home because my husband, the Bubba of my dreams, is a disabled Vietnam veteran and um, we just know that he is healthier and happier when I am here with him 24-7. So this is a life we've chosen. We love it dearly. We are inspired by it every day and I thank you again for joining me. May God bless you now and always. Amen.